As everyone knows, Mortal Kombat Legacy is now here. It debuted yesterday on Machinima's channel. Now, Machinima did a, an amazing job on this. I really like the visual effects of it. I like the action scenes. But there are a few parts of Mortal Kombat Legacy 2 that I really didn't like. I didn't like the fact that all the episodes were put into in one sitting. I like the idea of the fact that looking forward to it every I think it was last um, two years ago it was every Thursday or every Friday I kind of like that idea but the storyline for me I really like the storyline we show we they showed like a darker part of Liu Kang as everyone knows we we're used to him being the good guy we're used to him being the one who defeats Shang Tsung the one who you know that anti-hero well he's sort of an anti-hero now but he's more he was more of a hero back in the Mortal Kombat movies and video game but one of the points of the of the series of this season that I really liked is the fact that he was talking to Shang Tsung like you know he was always cursing at somebody he was going saying hey you know go f yourself and and you know get the f out of my way but you know it, it had his, it had its his moments had was well balanced and one thing for me great that they had the original actor from the two movies playing um, Shang Tsung. That was one of the characters that I'm glad that they changed. A few characters I, I really didn't like the fact that they changed. Um, and I'm going to name those characters now. They changed Johnny Cage. They changed Raiden. They changed, yeah, they changed Johnny Cage. They changed Raiden. They changed Melina. No, not Melina, Katana. And, but one of the actors I'm glad that they got, they got um Danny Southworth Daniel Southworth as anyone if you don't not familiar who Daniel Southworth is Daniel Southworth was the Quantum Ranger in Power Rangers Time Force um he he was also Ryu in a um in a promotional video for Tekken Cross Street Fighter where he fought where he fought Mike Masaji he was also in Kamen Rider Dragonite um also another part of of Mortal Kombat Legacy 2 that I liked was the you know we had a little bit of origin stories why was Liu Kang on this war path you know he was he was upset at the fact that the the low the White Lotus and Kung Lao his comrade or well yeah his comrade or his brother in in the monastery being a monk kinda you know pushed him aside and said hey you know you guys were supposed to be protectors of Earth Realm, but yet you sat by and watched my my um, soon-to-be wife killed. And that's why I really liked about the fact they're taking Liu Kang into a different direction. Now, the only thing I didn't like was the season finale. Now, if you guys haven't seen all of um, Mortal Kombat Legacy, I'm going to be posting a link down below to Machinima's channel. Check it out for yourself. Now, this is a major spoiler alert. at the end of the at the end of the uh, season, we see a big face off between Kung Lao and Liu Kang. But another part of that was the action. The action was pretty good. I mean, we had Kenshi facing Ermac, Kenshi won. We had Melina fighting Katana, which was sort of like Melina and Katana were facing Johnny Cage, but then Melina Melina was going to kill Johnny Cage, but then Katana realized, oh, hey, you know, you're not my sister. Shao Kahn's not my father. So, you know, I'm going to, I'm not going to, I'm not going to fight along your side. So Melina gets pissed off. She winds up dying. And the biggest climactic scene that, for me, this, this is not, any, if you guys might think any different, for me, it was Sub-Zero and Scorpion. I had mixed feelings about it. Good thing about it was that, that you know he was Sub Zero was trying his best, but in the end, he did the classic move by Scorpion did the classic move by taking his spine out and killing Sub Zero. Now for Mortal Kombat Legacy three season three, I really hope that there's not going to be two, two three years hiatus because of this. I mean you have a lot of plot holes. I'm sure I didn't get to them, but then again this is just part one of my review. I'll bring you guys part two as soon as I get enough information. But for part three, I really would like to see Quan Chi, possibly Rain, 
or you know Ermac I'm not too sure because I'm not too sure or Ermac is dead but then again you guys pro probably know better than me well I'm Techie Master 87 see you later